Hi everyone, today I thought I'd show you guys a little hidden-ish feature in RX that is so handy. So I got a sample library here that we're just about to release, it's the Styre Aug, and I want to go ahead and make uh, different versions of the library, aka a 192.32, a 48.24, and a 44.116. 48.24 mainly for film, and 44.116 for video games. What you can do if you open up RX with nothing in it, uh, you can actually press Command B, and you'll open up a batch processor. We have a bunch of different batch processing controls, but the one I'm gonna be reaching for today is actually just the resample feature. So with this resample feature, what I can do is go ahead and open up resample, and I can go ahead and select different presets, or I can create my own here. So I can actually go ahead and enter in the exact sample rate that I want, and if I don't like any of these, I can just type it up here. We have the filter uh, steepness, as well as the cutoff shape and the pre-ring but I just go ahead and use the standard presets because I'm only looking at creating a 44.1 and a 48 version. So let's open up the 48 version and let's go ahead and start dragging in some samples. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in the entirety of the sample folder for the 192, 32. So let's just drag in all of that. So as you can see here, they're all 192, 24 bit aside from the raw shots down here at the bottom, which they're 192, 32. So once I have that selected, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ahead and change my bit depth from the original to 24 bit. I'm gonna have it locked. I'm gonna preserve the audio metadata. That means I don't have to re-enter in all the metadata for this new library. And then I can go ahead and change the location. And the location is pretty important, but on Mac, what you can actually do, and I don't know if this is on Windows, let, let me know. But basically what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go into my 48 uh, kilohertz version. I'm going to delete uh, the sample folder out of it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this folder into here. And that way it will go ahead and actually lock onto the folder that I want it to do. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and make sure everything's correct, 48, 24, 24, and make sure that my resample is correct, 48. Uh, preserve non audio metadata, keep the naming the exact same. And when I click process, it's gonna start running through all of these files. And it starts up at the top. And as you can see, it's processing going at lightning speed. And as you can see over here, you can see that it's already starting to populate all of the samples and it's retaining all of the metadata of the file, the poster, everything. And once it's done, effectively, um, I will have another version of a library. But that's essentially the batch processing in uh, RX. It is super, super handy. I hope you've enjoyed that video.